You are looking live at the CNNMoney.com news set. I'm here today with Josh Brown, Bullhorn. Howard is still off in Paris. So let's get right down to it. China.com stocks. Yeah. Next bubble, or is it reasonable that a company like Yuku priced at 1280 and three days later it's trading at 45 and change or so? And Dang Dang, which everyone calls China's Amazon, is, is it's merely doubled in uh, the past That's three days. It. So that- Dang Dang is considered the Amazon of China. Um, they actually have a business. They're earning some money. This is a demographic story. If you believe e-commerce in China will grow, which it's very hard to say it won't, then you can understand why they've bid this stock up to where they bid it up. Um, it's not a value stock, right. obviously. <laughs> this is something that you got to look at the big picture. So then you have the other one is Yuku. I'm less enthusiastic mm-hmm. about. Um, this is a company that's losing money. They've already raised $100 million from venture guys before coming public. Um, now they're going to be faced with piracy in China. Right. They're going to have to convince people to pay for this stuff at some mm-hmm. point. Good luck. Um, they're going to have to pay for proprietary content. Right. There's a limit to how much advertising you could sell against user-generated video. I mean, they just have a lot of headwinds. Now you can take that and throw it all away because you also have to consider um, if somebody views this as a strategic asset, it could get bought. Right, like Google sh- buying YouTube. Yeah, you can't be short mm, this name because exactly. if somebody decides they want to have it, you know, you can't come up with what they're willing to pay. Right. Moving on to our next topic, uh, a lot of uh, changes in the S&P 500. Uh, Netflix is in. I think right. it's about time there, given the, the company's market cap and revenue base. You've got Cablevision in. You've got F5 Networks right. in. There was an oil company added as well. But the companies that got knocked out, very interesting. Yeah. New York Times gone, Office Depot gone, and Kodak, which used to be in the Dow, for crying out loud, gone. What, what right. would you uh, make of, uh, of all these changes? Yeah, I mean, there's a school of thought that says you buy them when they get pulled out. Uh, the value managers are salivating. Mm-hmm. Uh, they love to see an Eastman Kodak or a New York Times out of the index. Um, you know, it gives, They feel it, it gives them a crack at it when no one's really paying attention. Mm-hmm. And there's a huge list of, of stocks that have worked, once coming out of the Dow and once coming out of the S&P. It's not a great sign for the business, but it could be a, a good sign on a valuation basis for the stock itself. So, you know, they're out, but they're, they're not out forever. Right. Um, that said, you look at a Netflix, you look at F5, it shows you what's ascendant in this economy and right. what's working. All right, to wrap up, uh, it's the holiday season, so a lot of people are going out and buying video games for their young kids and maybe not so young kids, as the case may right. be. Take Two, I was surprised to see that stock's at a 52 week high. Uh, you know, admittedly, I think of Take Two and I think of accounting issues and Grand Theft Auto games, and they haven't had a Grand Theft Auto game in a while. What's, what's going on with Take-Two and, and some of their competitors like EA and Activision Blizzard? Yeah, no, so I think I think Take-Two ultimately makes sense to be acquired. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've that's had, been for years. Yeah, now. I mean, it's, it's like, oh, News Corp's going to buy him. Disney's going to buy him. Yeah. Right. You also had an activist come into the stock and right. give up. Uh, Icon is the latest, mm-hmm. uh, banging his head against the company. <laughs> but I, I think ultimately... The company is not worth much, but the assets are. So, you know, at a certain point, they'll, they'll get to the point where they'll, they'll sell. Um, Grand Theft Auto has a lot of value. Mm-hmm. Every iteration, they say, well, this one's not going to do so well, and then it does. Right. So, yeah. uh, th- there's something happening with this name. I can't tell you what yet, uh, but you can see it. And that's our bullhorn for this week. Thank you, Josh, for, having, for us. having me. Look forward to having you again, but I think we'll be back with Howard, assuming he decides to return from Gay Paris.